Who said you could come in? <laughs> have you ever heard of knocking? How long have you been standing there? <laughs> I didn't hear you. It doesn't matter. Get out. Get out before I make you get out. <laughs> what are you, some kind of like crazed fan or something? Leave. I'm sorry, what? No, I just think I have something in my ear because what you just said was ridiculous. <laughs> New tag team partner? In your dream, says who? Does no one tell me anything anymore? Someone's gonna be in trouble. Listen. Hmm. I'm a five-time women's champion and the goddess of the WWE. There's people out there wearing merch with me on it. I don't have time to be babysitting newbies like yourself. So, there's the door. What? So I don't get a say now? <sighs> well, if I don't have a choice, when do you start? Tonight. Now. Well, great. What's your name? I hope that's your real name and not what you expect them to call you out there. Yeah, that could definitely use some work. And please tell me you're not wearing that. Oh my goodness. Is this why they assigned you to me? Because they expected me to be able to help you? Am I just supposed to carry you throughout this whole match? Whatever. Listen. Apparently we don't have that much time, and unfortunately for me, you need a lot of work. I guess we can use what I have lying around my dressing room. Have you already been to a wardrobe? Ugh. Alright. Well, let's work on your outfit here. You need a theme. This is all chaotic. What about punk? Yeah, like a steampunk look. Okay. Let's work on that. Mm. I have these. These are like arm cuffs, so let's just put this around here. Give me your arm. Okay. How long have you been wrestling? Are you any good? I said, are you any good? Decent. All right, other arm.
listen, I know I'm technically helping you right now, and I don't really have a choice in this matter for tonight, but if you make me look stupid or cause me any issues out there, you're going to regret the day you messed with me, Alexa Bliss, the goddess of the WWE. Got it? Good. Better hold your own weight out there. Okay. Now let's cut up that shirt a bit. Yeah, we need you to look more intimidating. Right now, you wouldn't scare a bunny. All right. Also, this makeup isn't working for you. So. We're just going to take that off. Okay. If you're going to be seen with me, you need a much darker look. This is way too friendly. Okay. Let's change her hair here. Right, there we go. That's looking a lot better. So when do they think you're going out there? And that's when you're supposed to make your big debut? Wow. Well, I'm going to be out there with The Fiend at first, so it sounds like you're going to be out there after us. You haven't met him yet? Oh, you're gonna love him. Just make sure that you let him in. <laughs> okay. So. I think that... These will add a little bit to your look here. That helps. Okay. And I have another idea as well, but we'll do that after we fix that makeup.
All right. So, are you supposed to be like a new heel or a new face? Heel? Yeah, you definitely do not look the part. We need to make you 10 times more intimidating. So, let's start with adding some black here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Gonna smoke that out. And now the way to win the crowd over is to be mysterious. They love a good, intimidating, mysterious person. For what I have planned after this, we need to make your eyes pop a little more. We need some of this red here. Look up. Good. That looks better. Okay. Now. I'm just gonna put a little powder because we want to make sure that when the cameras snap our picture after we win, that you don't look shiny and stick out. Don't get such a big head. We're only gonna be winners because of me. Don't kid yourself. I'm carrying you through this whole match. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. So, have you practiced getting the audience going, giving your speech or anything? No? Good luck. The main thing is keeping the audience engaged. They have to like what you're saying. And that takes talent, which I'm not sure yet that you have. Now, one thing I'm gonna do to help you is give you this mask. Like I said, you're new, and the audience loves a new mysterious face. So, just put that on there. Okay, good. All right, let me look at you. Wow, if you would have come into my dressing room looking like that, this whole interaction would have been different. All right, it still needs a little something. Here. 
We're going to put these on your wrists. Give me your arm. Does that feel okay? Good. Alright. Other wrist. Okay. And... I have gloves, but... They're not fingerless. But we can fix that. That's better. All right. Give me your hand. Good. And other hand. Good. All right, good. You're giving me mysterious Undertaker vibes almost. And considering this is his 30th anniversary and retirement, maybe, don't get a big head, but maybe he could fill those creepy shoes. All right. I think that's the best I can do. It's up to you, kid, to sell it. So... Let me hear what you got. No, no, no. You need to have way more confidence than that. And try saying less. You're going for a mysterious vibe? Better. Not bad. All right, give it back. Alright, I'm about to go out and get this party started. See you soon. Remember, don't let me down.